Hey everyone, John here with the opposite of a news update. I'm just going to be dead silent for the entire video. Are you enjoying this? Actually, it's a debunk. So this image right here appeared on the internet via 4chan. And as you always know, anonymous people on 4chan can always be trusted. And with this image, they posted the following. Sega's preparing for a big Sonic reveal at South by Southwest that will bring most of the 3D mainline Sonic games to current and next generation platforms. See you at South by Southwest. Now I cannot understate how awesome that would be. I mean, that's a pipe dream to have Sonic Adventure and Adventure 2 and Sonic R and Unleashed and Generations and Colors and Lost World and uh, the Jam Hub World and whatever else in one big collection. That sounds almost too good to be true, especially when Colors and Unleashed and Generations have not been re-released and they could very well get away with selling them on their own again. Now I say that because it very likely is too good to be true. Let's do a John Photoshop lesson. So first and foremost, it's very weird to have the logo clearly at the top of the screen here, but cut it off, almost like they're trying to hide it. But that's not the only thing. This 3 here is very suspect. So we've gone over a lot of Sega's uses of the number 3 in Sonic promotional material, and they very rarely use them. A Sonic series very rarely get to a third installment, we've had Sonic 3 and Sonic Advance 3, but apart from that, not many 3s. So, there's this fan-made font called Nice Sega Sonic. And if I type in 3-0, oh, whoa, that looks pretty similar, huh? Let's go a bit further. Let's give it an outline and a shadow, much like the, uh, the image here. So we give it a nice white stroke. Make it a bit thicker too, because that's a pretty weak outline right now. Nice white stroke, and we'll put it up to around, let's say around there. And we'll also give it a little bit of a shadow. So uh, not, not shadow the hedgehog, shadow the shadow. So there you go, That's that looks kind of similar to what they've got here, maybe a bit too big. So I'll make that a tiny bit smaller, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've made my point here that this more or less looks identical to what they've put together. I look right now, whoop, whoop, what's the difference? The only difference is one of them is lower quality. So it doesn't seem likely that Sega would use a fan-made font for their promotional material. I imagine when they do use the number 3, it will look a bit different to what fans have put together right here. So of course, this collection would be awesome, and this is the biggest piece of evidence saying that it's likely fake, but we can also just use general common sense as well. Uh, Sonic is not 30 this year, Sonic is currently 28. He will be 30 in 2021, but not until late 2021, so right now Sonic has not even experienced his 29th anniversary. So it would be a bit strange to announce a big 30th anniversary collection before his 29th anniversary. I think a big 30th anniversary new 3D game could happen, but um, as for just a collection, I don't think so. And also, this art doesn't really reflect the 3D entries. I mean, this pose right here for Classic Sonic is straight from Sonic Mania's intro. Uh, so why wouldn't you use something that reflects more generations or forces, games that he's in in the 3D games? And uh, even like Sonic and Tails' poses, they don't really showcase these games at all. Like, you'd have like Shadow there, or the Werehog, or just, or just something that makes you think of those older 3D games. I mean, there's decades of 3D Sonic to represent here, and this doesn't do a great job doing any of them. I mean, they're great quality renders, of course, I, I can't deny that, the whoever made this did a pretty stand-up job. But Sonic fans have been doing renders for years, there's nothing unseen or unheard of. So, I wouldn't get my hopes up for this. It seems fake based on the uh, the three font alone, which looks identical. <laughs> but also, it, the concept itself just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If Sega were to re-release Colors, for instance, Colors would first need a HD treatment, a remaster. And I think they could easily sell Colors for $40, $50 on its own, and it would make bank. That's one of the most popular 3D games, never been re-released. They could easily get away doing that again. So yeah, this just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. It would be awesome, but I don't think so. But do you guys think so? Do you think this has a possibility of being true? Let us know down below, and of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Sonic, including South by Southwest next month, and every month, as Sega promised on the 20th of every month, new Sonic details will be revealed. So stay tuned until now, until the end of the year. <laughs> until next time, everyone. See you later. Bye.